All right, so here we are. Welcome. Hey. Welcome back. Or if you're a first listener, thank you for tuning in. Um, this is the Glitch Pit Podcast. Welcome to our channel. Uh, we got me, your host, Mike. And then we got Big Black, a.k.a. Robert. And then we got yo. Brownie, a.k.a. Darian. Yo, yo, what's up? Um, if you're not familiar with us, we're just a group of friends who just like to talk about video games, comic books, movies, just anything in the entertainment business. Uh, we try our best to stay as consistent as possible, but of course with different schedules and stuff, we, you know, slip through the cracks sometimes. We don't get paid for this. This is basically a hobby. I mean, like, if you want to pay us, that, that'd be great. But other than that. Word, word, word. <laughs> we got some habits we need to afford, son. Word. I just Like paid gaming off. habits. I just paid off my PC. It's officially paid off. Hey, congratulations, Mike. Yes, sir. Yes, that sir. That PC's going to be put off. to work. It has been. It has been being put to work. But um, this is the Glitch Pit Podcast, episode 23. Um, it should be episode, like, 79, but, you know, we have a lot of hiatuses because, you know, different schedules, different people. It's all good. It's all good. But um, we're going to try to get up back in track. And um, at first, if you've watched us in the beginning, we used to do video podcasts. That was mainly, it was a headache. It was a headache trying to gather everybody up because of different schedules. Um, we do this through online, um, audio only. So this is this is the most consistent way I can think of to do this. Plus, you know, podcasts originally are just audio. So that's fine. Word. And we all like to talk a lot. Exactly. Exactly. And we all, we all you know, it's good because tired of doing video. We don't have faces for uh for TV, we got radio. Yeah, I don't want to see your ugly ass face. <laughs> all, right. all right, so what I like, god damn, what I like to do is just basically just go around and we just like to update what's going on with our personal lives, things like that. Doesn't have to do anything with gaming, just what's going down for the week. So uh, let's start off with Rob. Rob, what's going on with you, brother? Uh, not much, the usual work, lots of work actually. And then when I'm not working, with the baby that's right but i did manage to recently buy uh the new spider-man game and i beat it and i must say it is fabulous yeah we're gonna get into the spider-man game that wouldn't when did that drop like a week ago two weeks ago uh september 7th september 7th so about yeah about two three, two three, weeks ago weeks. two or three weeks ago so yeah um darian what about you brother yo yo what up uh, this week, what did I do? I actually platinum Spider-Man this week, so I had a shit ton of fun doing that. Um, I've been working a ton, then I finally got on to Destiny, so I've been gaming a lot more, actually. I think you'll be pretty happy about that, and I guess that's it. Work's I, been keeping me busy, and gaming's been keeping me busy. How about you, Mike? I am proud of you, Darren. Uh, you can't be a part hey, of the gaming channel if you're not gaming. But anyway. A lot more. <laughs> Hey, um, man, you brought me on as editor. Remember the good old days? I know, right? But um, <laughs> I'm going to just piggyback off of Rob. Just work, baby. Baby work. Um, my daughter, she started school uh, about three uh -huh. weeks ago. Oh, I know you cried like a little girl. I didn't cry. <laughs> she, You know what's funny? She started school a day after my birthday. She started school September 5th. My birthday is September 4th, uh -huh. so she started school the day after my birthday. I, I got I got I'm a, I'm a gonna I'm gonna admit I got a little emotional. I got a little. Of course emotional. you did. And the funny thing about it is that she got a little emotional too because she was good. She was straight up good up until she noticed. Because I remember the first the actual the first day she was with her mother, and the parents were allowed to stay, right? And then the second day, I was with her and she and my mother and my wife was with her. And that's when the second day was like, all right, parents are not going to stay this time. So when she realized that we were actually leaving, she got a little teary eyed and she started crying a little bit. But then once we left, we actually left out the classroom. Right. And we stayed outside. The door, we stayed outside in the hallway and we just kept peeking in. She was crying a little bit and the teacher was like consoling her. And after about maybe, I don't know, two minutes, she was fine. But, dude, there was kids in there. Yo, you you would have thought they would be murdered. They cry like, <laughs> yo, bloody murder like my daughter when she cries it's a very soft like how, how can i how can i explain this soap opera cry <laughs> i think that's the best way for me to explain it it's a soap opera, soap opera very, cry very very soft tears rolling like an emotional like you know movie cry these kids <laughs> you, you swear to god they were being murdered yo but um 
I'm proud of her. Damn. So she's doing good. She's very advanced already. She's like, she, well, we already started that off with her. She knows her color. She knows her numbers and things. So she'll be all right. She'll be all right. I'll be all right too. She'll be awesome. Um. So that's pretty much it. Also, I did beat Spider Man. Also, I did not platinum it. Unlike you guys, I am close. I'm at seventy percent. <laughs> so also, Keep I streamed the entire I streamed the entire uh, playthrough of it. So you can check that out on our channel. Um, it's like the most recent thing. So if you want to see me playing it, please go right ahead. Oh, shit, you um, did the thing, Mike. What did I do? You streamed the whole thing. Congrats. I know. I usually, <laughs> I, just, I know. I usually start a game and stream it, and then I stop like halfway through because I just stop playing the game. I, There's only two right. games on our channel. No, actually, no, three. There's three games on our channels that are actually always that are actually completed all the way through. Um, a way out. I did that with you, Rob. Yep, that, that game was, was a fabulous amazing. game, and, and it's a good thing to know that the uh, creator is working on something new. Exactly. Wow. Nice. Um, and then I streamed all the way through Detroit Become Human once again. Fabulous, fabulous game. The game was amazing. Word. And then um, yeah, really good. A lot of good games this year. Yeah, and then I I finished Spider Man, so that, that's pretty much it. But um, Spider Man, let's get back into that. I just want to say, honestly. Until Red Dead Redemption comes out, I'm holding my decision until Red Dead drops, which is dropping in October, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, Red Dead is, yeah, next month. Next month. Spider-Man is my favorite game this year. Yep. I agree with that. Spider-Man is... I'm, I'm the coin toys because I actually, you know, finished God of War, and I love God of War. <laughs> and a, a lot of the fight scenes in God of War were pretty damn epic. You see, I did not finish God of War. I played about halfway through it. It was excellent, but Spider Man just just everything about it to me was like, was amazing. You know why I like Spider Man so much? It reminds me of another game, and I mentioned this in my stream. If you watched it, um, it took a lot of it took a lot of the formula from this game, and I love that game, the uh, the Arkham series. Oh yeah. If you, if you it wanna... definitely did. It took a lot of the Batman games about all the like the combat, but I think it was like I don't know. I, I like to compare those two games, but I still look at them like apples to oranges because it, it feels so different. The Arkham games are are awesome in their own kind of way, but it's almost like I don't know, two different games. To what me, you, at least, I don't you know. Nah, there, 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 there was most part, some parts in the game like you would do with certain missions, and I see where Mike's coming from with the whole Arkham vibe because in some of those missions and. And Batman, you know, yeah. stealth, was, stealth was the key. Exactly. There were in this game where I took people out and no one found me. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, when I was I, yeah. when I, I was on top I, of those poles and just and just webbing people up and shit and then taking them out. Yo, I this it gave me the Batman feel. Listen, I left yeah. I left everybody in Grand Central Terminal hanging from webs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was the mission with uh, MJ and um. Yep. Yeah. Don't, don't 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 spoil it for those who didn't play it. Go I, out there and go everybody play it. beat it. Everybody beat it. If I beat it and I'm the slowest out of everybody in this group because I'm always doing something else. If I beat it, other people beat it. Damn it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that was that mission that you got to control your um, MJ, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, you get to control yeah. her multiple. You get to control her multiple times in the you game. You get to control her multiple times in the game. You yeah. get to control Miles a few times in the game. Uh, oh my god, talk, let's talk about I, I that must, Miles, I bro. Must, I, I must talk about Miles, all right? The entire Dude. time when MJ got into the secret lab and she broke through the uh, the, 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 the tank with the, the spiders. That was the first thing I thought I'm about. Not I was lie. like, how is that going to get to Miles? I thought it was, no, see, for me, <laughs> the probability. the first thing that I thought about because I still thought that it was going to be MJ and she was just been Spider-Woman. Exactly, really? you know, because this game, and it's, and it's this game's universe, that. it kind of like plays a little bit. Like, first of all, one, I, 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 I'm sorry, I don't want to sound stupid, but is there a comic out there where MJ is a reporter? Is she like a part of Daily Bugle? Like, is that is that? I've never thing? known of that. No, no. Or is this specifically um, new for the game? I'm trying to remember. I don't think so, right? I don't, I don't so remember. Either. They gave her a very lowest lane vibe in this game. That's what I, was I guess saying. that's what she, I compared she, it to. She was just lowest lane. Like it was, she just yeah. really felt like lowest lane in this game. <laughs> she did not care about her safety. <laughs> no, not at, at all. all. 
And then but had what was the nerve good? to get mad at Pete. <laughs> Word. <laughs> but she was also not an annoying character. She wasn't annoying like damsel in distress. Like, oh fuck, I gotta save her. You know what I mean? And I think. Oh no, that's... definitely not because. Yeah, that's the whole issue. She didn't like to feel like she needed to be rescued. Because when the game yeah. first, yeah, because when be the rescued. game started, Pete and MJ are already done. Like they're not a couple anymore. And we, and we we find out the reason why is because like she got tired of basically being babied by him. Like she knows he's Spider Man. Like we got we obviously got through that point, and she just got tired of being, I guess, just looked over. Like there's 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 a difference between protecting somebody and then just being trying baby them you know and i guess that's how she Word. felt and they broke off you know whatever they was having way before the game even started and we kind of like developed and went through that again you know yeah i love it that it was the most adult spider-man <laughs> game so um, like story that i saw at least but definitely it was like very definitely emotional. He's, yeah because he's been because he was in how old was he in this 25 23 23 oh, five i think 25 I think oh. it was 23 25. or 25. He was out. He's been Spider-Man since what? High school, obviously. So I would say on average, he was 20. He's been Spider-Man for about eight years already. When this game starts. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a dick, yeah. Oh, I think Rob's thing. right. You guys like 26, 25. Because it's after college and everything like that. Yeah. But there was, there was only one thing I can always complain about for the game. Was every time Pete and MJ had a private moment where they would not be interrupted. He always had the damn mask on. Take your mask off and talk to the woman. Let her see your face. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But <laughs> it, it, you know, like it, it like it, it annoyed me. Like even when you watch the movies and, you know, Pete would speak to whether it was Mary Jane or whether it was Gwen Stacy. And like, they yeah, had their like, little long time. They know, the mask they know who you are. Take your mask they off. They know who you are. Take your mask off. And that's that. That's that was the only thing I can complain about was that. But other than that, game is fabulous. And listen, let's talk about that anti ox suit because I ain't gonna lie. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a little horny when he starts to build that suit. <laughs> <laughs> Rob had a little bit of hard nipples. Rob, Rob got a little <laughs> chub going on. A little bit. Just, 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 just a little bit. But hands down, definitely my favorite game this year, and I, I do look forward for any sequels they do make. And I heard oh. a lot of rumors of them saying about it being the like the Tony, not the Tony Stark, the Iron Man of the gaming universe that Marvel is actually trying to create. So I'm excited to see whatever they're gonna do with that stuff. So that that more is just a rumor in the water right now, but I won't be surprised if they won't try that. But Dude, I am excited I know for they next will. month, though. I am excited for next month, and this is where you get some conflict is. Unfortunately, you got Red Dead releasing, but at the same time, you got the first DLC of Spider-Man releasing. Oh just yeah, like, and I bought ah. that shit. Oh yeah, I, I bought the the deluxe edition. I was like, I will play all three. We're still trying to figure out what the second one is because the first one we know that has to do with Black Cat. Yeah, I mean the, the game itself played to that. You know, she sent you on a wild goose chase and had you do everything she needed her to do just so she can get her suit back. She played. Yeah. It. She got you. The the last one we already know is going to be related to Silver Sable. Oh yeah, definitely. And, but the but the second one is called Turf War, and we have no clue what that's about. Hmm. Hmm. That does sound pretty good. I think it's going to be one of those other like villain versus villain kind of thing, and Spider Man has to intervene. Yeah, but who's gonna? What's gonna happen unless unless Fisk gets out of jail? That is true. Of course he is. He's that Fisk. That is true. He will always get out. But. There was, like I said, there was there was a ton in this game. The the swinging was just very. That's fluid. another thing I want to talk about. The swinging was absolutely amazing. Now I'm just gonna throw it was that. Amazing. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I I still feel Spider Man Two has the best swinging mechan mechanism. <laughs> mechanics. You was right the first time. Yeah. Me mechanics. Mechanics. <laughs> but this one, it just seemed a very assisted, which I don't mind at all. But once I started well, yeah, unlocking tricks really and shit, it was a it wrap. Was yeah, it was it was basically just you know, hold R two and just push X and that was it. That, yeah. that was, that's that's how you swung, and, you know, and push X occasionally. The thing I I actually got to a point where I stopped swinging through the damn city and I just started hopping from roof to roof. Word, there's a there's a certain move you make. You press the L. I believe it's the L two and L one. No L one and no no R one. L two and X. No, you no you press, you press X. L two, L two and R two to to, to zip to, zip to an edge. Something. 
and then and press X to jump. Before you get yeah. to the edge, you push you push X, and it bursts. It like it just jolts you forward. Yep. And I just kept doing that over and over and over again, and it, you, honestly, you got through the city a hell of a lot faster. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> but, right, you know, so every, Spider Man about the game was great. It and was Sinister amazing. Six, they, 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 when they introduced the Sinister Six, I was oh. Ooh. He was like, "Yo, Spider Man was oh, getting oh. jumped. He was getting stomped. You saw that shit? Yo, he was getting stomped out. <laughs> it was, it was so excellent. And when he was crawling towards the edge, and you caught the uh, the first one of Doc Ock's arms reach the top, and you see the rest of them in the background, perfect. Where are they? That's that's sexy shot right there, yo. That was an amazing shot right there. But yeah, yeah no, definitely Spider Man so far." Among the top between that and God of War for me, I'm giving Spider Man a. Uh, I'm giving that shit a perfect ten, and I don't give too many games perfect ten. I, I, give, I, I gave it a nine point five because I still saw some like technical glitches that you know just threw threw the game off a little bit. Okay, it's understandable. Like, there's only two other games I gave perfect tens, and that was Uncharted Four and The Last of Us, both other game exclusives. So just gonna throw that out there. Yep. Yep. Sony exclusives, baby. That's right. It's, uh, Amazing. Uh, let's move on to Sony Talk. Sony Talk. Listen, the PlayStation Classic. Listen, they're piggybacking mm. off of Nintendo, obviously. Obviously. Of course. Is it needed? No. Do I want it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I saying. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna sell well. Me personally, like, it's no, not gonna sell well. It's 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 gonna sell. It's still not. It, it's still pre-order major collectors. It's still yeah. pre-orderable. Both the NES Classic and the Super NES, day one, them shits fucking sold out before it even came out. Oh. And this is... And yeah. So people aren't even buying. Exactly. The PlayStation Classic, is it's still pre-orderable. You know what I mean? Like, I'm on the website right now. I can buy it again if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Yeah, they're definitely piggybacking on all the success of the Nintendo stuff. But exactly. Guess, Here's I the thing, know. though. It's not needed. It's completely... Uh, it's, yeah. No, it's not fucking needed. Just like I mean, like just like the NES Classic was not needed, and the Super Nintendo was not needed. I hacked my S, my um, not the first one, not the NES Classic. I have that. It's collecting dust because, whatever. My Super <laughs> NES Classic, I hacked that. I'm just throwing throw it out. I don't care. It's called the FBI. I hacked it, and I have like 250 <laughs> Nintendo games on it now. And guess where it is? In my drawer, doing damn. <laughs> yeah. Cause. I guess so. I mean, those are like very good collectibles. I guess that's what I would get it for. To me, I get it for the collectible value. I don't get it for I'm going to sit down and really play for hours upon hours. Right. How about you, Mike? Um, his, This is the list I need. This is the list I need. I'm going to throw it out there. Um, What is confirmed? The stuff that's confirmed is Final Fantasy VII, uh, Jumping Flash, Final Fantasy VII. Um, Ridge Racer Type 4, uh, Tekken three and Wild Arms. Though that's what's confirmed, yeah. right? Um, yep. you need Metal Gear Solid one. Yes. Uh, let's let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Spiral Dragon. Yeah, Spiral Dragon. Definitely need that. Let's throw that out there. Um, don't dupe us like they did with the Nintendo and add like multiple games. Like they said, it's Tekken three on there. I don't need Tekken one and two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's how they'll stretch it. And also, there's another thing. This only has twenty compared to. Nintendo, who the, the both releases had thirty, and it's more expensive. It's a yeah. hundred dollars, and it's more expensive. Yep. So right then and there, it, it's it's. I'm sorry, it's not gonna sell. I'm like, listen, we got, listen, we're Sony boys. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I have an Xbox One. I only play for Fortnite because my brother-in-law has it. Um, I, I, that's what it is. That's my crew. My crew are Xbox players when it comes to Fortnite, and I do play Fortnite. I'm sorry, <laughs> but um. I'm be real. <laughs> I'm a Sony guy. I've been a Sony guy for the longest, and that's what I play. But uh, this PlayStation Classic is not needed. It's not needed. They're uh, piggybacking I mean, off of Nintendo. Because you know yeah, what they need to, to me, do? me personally, they should definitely kind of give us backwards compatibility, and then I'll appreciate it a little bit more. Not a classic system. Give us some backwards stuff, maybe. Exactly. I was then... just going to get into that. Give me some backwards compatibility. You know what I mean? I own like 10. I already own 10 Sony games on my um, my PlayStation account. Let me yeah. download them to my PlayStation Four. Like, come on, are you serious? 
when they give us that, maybe I mean that's I think that's maybe why it's not going to be as successful as they think it would be because people are still upset about that. You're, you're, you know, people's been asking for backwards compatibility for since what the PS3 really? Well, I know the first PS3 started, had the backwards. They just started backwards compatibility with PlayStation Now, which is a stream, which is a streaming service. Not yes, you can download yeah. PlayStation Two games. You can download, I believe. Can you download PlayStation One games? No, right. Uh, there was some but, like a, like really old. No, ones. you can download PlayStation Two and Three games because that's what PlayStation Now had you do with the streaming service. But once again, that's a whole separate fucking service. How much of that shit again? Twenty dollars a month, right? Yeah, About something like that. All right, here's but then you already have like your online service too. Exactly, Sony. This Maybe is, if you get a bundle, this is what I need: increase. And I remember you mentioned this before, Rob. Increase oh, PlayStation it, Plus by increase, ten dollars. Yep. Yep. And include PlayStation Now. And you have no idea how many people would buy it. At yes, that point. exactly. Ex fucking exactly. Like now. seriously. But yeah, like, like, come on. Let's be real. I'm a Sony head. This is not gonna fucking sell. It's gonna sell. Hell. But no. it's not gonna sell like not gonna sell Super Nintendo to, to, Classic and NES yeah. Classic sell. It's not. Let's go down the list. And, so they, got it. And, and it's rumored that they're making that Super NES, uh, not the what's it, Nintendo 64 Classic. Yeah, before yeah, huh. before we get into that, before we get into that, so we we got Final Fantasy VII, Jumping Flash, R4, mm-hmm. Tekken Three, and Wild Arms. That's five, right? So I just pulled yep. up a list. This is the remaining fifteen that are rumored. It's not confirmed. It's rumored that uh, it's gonna be on. Let's see, Crash Team Racing, which I don't, I would not mind. Uh, no, Twisted Metal mind Three. That. Uh, don't mind that at all. I don't know why this is on the list. This looks. This is fucking stupid. Uh, Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone. No, I don't know why. Uh, Spiral <laughs> the Dragon. Uh, Tony no, Hawk Pro Skater like Two. Said, okay. Okay, I'll take that. Castle, um, yeah. Castlevania okay. Symphony of Night, which also they're releasing oh. for PlayStation Four anyway. Yes, okay. they are. Along, yeah. with, uh, along with the other game as well. Exactly. My my thing. Metal Gear Solid. Okay, that's six. Mm-hmm. Uh, the original Tomb Raider, that's a that's seven. Uh, Tomb Raider two. See, this is this is why I don't need that. I don't. If you're gonna put the original Tomb Raider, I don't need Tomb Raider two, or vice versa. That's me personally. That's me personally. Uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Okay, I'll take that. That's eight. Mega Man Legends. That makes nine. Uh, Ape Escape. I'll definitely play that shit again. Uh, Power Rapper the Rapper. That's eleven. Silent Hills. Twelve. Um, what else? I'm missing three more. Uh, um, wouldn't be surprised if they slip in Siphon Filter. Siphon Filter, uh, Resident Evil 2 maybe, that's two. Uh, one more. One more, Darian, what you got? Mm, I have no idea, but I'm listening to it all, and I like what I'm hearing. A- AKA, you know, <laughs> he's not paying attention, that's what that means, this motherfucker. Not exactly. <laughs> not exactly. I'm listening, but... Exactly I mean... what you, you just said you're not paying attention. <laughs> You just said that. I said you're not paying attention. I That's what that paying. means. And you was like, not exactly. Like, how, what does that mean? I'm listening, but I have no input on this one because I'm not too sure of those games. Right, I didn't so really. Need, so I'll, I'll give I you don't one. really know. I'll give you one. Well, they, Chrono, they Chrono might, Trigger. They might. Oh no, Chrono Trigger they, is oh. Super Nintendo. Uh, Chrono no, Chrono Trigger was originally Nintendo. Yeah, but it was originally Nintendo, but they did re-release on PlayStation. But they won't do that the, uh, because it was originally Nintendo. They, they, well, we never know. They could if they want to. They they should if they want to actually move the damn thing and that is sell true. them but yeah, uh, yeah final give you exclusive... is also another one yes final fantasy tactics that should be one that should definitely be one i mean on the older playstation games that i used to play i used to play a lot of those tony hawk games like tony hawk american wasteland and all those to me those ones i would probably buy it for oh well, there you go um or... and yeah. well like rob was saying with the n64 classic you think it's not a hundred percent confirmed, but they said the actual filing has been uh, listed in the European market to be trademarked. Right. So, which is which huh. is great, which is fine. Uh, am I gonna buy it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just fuck it. You know what I mean? Fuck it. Keep it. Keep it going. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. <laughs> If Keep anybody, if up. anybody, look at my past, look at the our past podcast when we actually used to film it. Look behind us. I'm, I'm, I'm the classic buy what you don't need. 
<laughs> kind of guy. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. But um. But yeah, definitely for me, any value that I see in those kind of systems, like those classic systems, exclusive stuff that they're bringing out, it's just collectibles to me. I'm gonna uh, be I honest. Really um, too much. I would buy an N64 mainly for the fact that I never owned one. Sorry. Fair enough. They got. They they gotta put Crash Bandicoot two on there. Oh yes, <laughs> definitely for the PlayStation Classic. Um. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What else is there? It's not that much stuff this week. Uh. It was uh, what else do we got? Uh, PX, oh. PSX, PSX, we're not, we're not getting canceled. That this year. There is no yeah, PSX. We're not getting PSX this year. Uh, Sony president said that with all the actual gaming news that has been released and all the actual you know exclusive titles coming out and all the big titles, they didn't feel an actual need to do one this year because it would just feature them showing the exact same stuff over again, which would be pointless. And he's right. <laughs> Have PSX when you have something worth showing. So we will see them next year, definitely. Which is true. I and respect that. If they had a PSX, what what would they show? They would just show more last what was it, which what they would showed they show? at E3. Um, and they showed plenty of that at E3. Exactly. Um, what what else would they show? That that's I, they um, they'll announce they'll yeah. announce the PlayStation Classic, which would fucking tank tank that reaction yeah. would tank. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> they, it was a it smart would. move on Sony part. Cancel it, and you know, pretty much we'll, it would. we'll look for it. For if they it had PlayStation next, X, next year. yeah, if they had PlayStation X 2018, and I saw the PlayStation Classic, the first thing I wouldn't say is they fucking buy enough <laughs> of Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Then it'd been like, all right, nah, it's over. But yeah, th- I guess they did the smart decision there and just not saying anything about it or not doing anything because they would have had nothing to show at all. Exactly. I mean, yeah, so. they already they already whipped it out this week, year. I, I mean, I don't know what else PlayStation can drop and just blow us away, but they already did everything. Well, Every exclusive thing. that they dropped this year was amazing. Yes, well, that, it definitely I was. I, I, and I figure next year during E3, we will probably get a snippet or an announcement for PlayStation Five leading into PSX yeah, exactly. for 2019. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's the only new thing at this point. There's just a gaming news, and then they just release gaming news. Those big kind of things. I mean, I guess that's didn't we when we did that this year too? When we did the we did a live stream for the E3, and there was a lot of gaming news, but we were still like, damn, a lot of the stuff that was released or being said there was already being what was already released already. Like we already heard about it, we already saw maybe some gameplay, but really the only stuff that we really didn't see anything from was like Death Stranding. We had the reactions to it. Exactly, yeah. so it's not needed. It's not needed at all. Yeah. But um let's this is the biggest one this week. PlayStation is allowing crossplay finally. Oh shit. And of course the first thing that, you know, is jumping on is Fortnite because that was the original crossplay thing. Xbox One was be able to cross play with mobile and PC and Switch. So now after months of just PlayStation, you know, reneging that idea, they finally tanked, um, and they're doing it. Where they caved OD. They were like, alright guys, you guys can get it. Personally, they should have just jumped on from the beginning. True, but in the end, they they don't lose in this in in any way, shape, form. Nobody loses. Everybody gains. Pretty much. True, true. But now it's pretty cool. We're gonna get, I get to play with your brother-in-law. It's lit. (laughs) It didn't matter anyway. I was playing, I played on my PC anyway. (laughs) This guy. Yeah, when was the last time you saw me log in for Fortnite for my PlayStation? I play on my PC. I don't Word. know. I couldn't even begin to tell you that. <laughs> exactly. But um, why do you think they they went with it? They just basically they was just like, was it the pressure? Um, maybe. But um, this opens a lot of doors because now they're talking about Call of Duty, and because we all know Call, yeah. Call of Duty has the that all battle TV royale mode, the new battle royale now, so. This is my thing. Um, I personally, because I love Destiny the Forsaken. I love it. It got me back into Destiny. I have it for my PlayStation. But like you guys, like I said before in the beginning, my PC is completely paid off. I have converted. I am a PC player now. This is this is my admission. No, I'm serious. I'm throwing it out there. I am a PC player now. I will love, huh. I will fucking read buy this shit for PC because guys no I'm yo look at look at gameplay for Destiny for PC 
and tell me you won't fucking it's, that shit is amazing. Godly, bro. It's godly. Of course, you have a PC, you'd play it. Hell yeah. So if Sony, if this if this series about this crossplay and Bungie, they hop on this, you know, cross because that's what it comes down to. It honestly comes down to the developer allowing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, because the developer has to work with their servers and everything like that to even tolerate that kind of shit between cross platform. Exactly. That's why I don't it's know why ever blamed Sony in the first place. <laughs> yeah. That is true. So, like, if Destiny can be cross played with Xbox One, PC, and PS4 players, I am in that shit. I'm buying it for PC, and it's it's a wrap. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I will rebuy it for PC. I don't give a fuck. I believe you on that shit. That's just Do it, me. But, no, but this, but this is gonna be real good for you know all the shooters. I think it's also good for the gaming community, dude, just to interact with everybody like that. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. This is uniting, uniting everybody. Everybody's united. Yeah. Dude, it's if, you, if I would if I would have went back to 2008, 10 years, 10 years in the future, future, sorry, 10 years in the past, and <laughs> talked to my 2008 self, and you know what? I was a fresh, I was a fresh, uh, the place that sh- we shall not name employee in 2008. And I would I would go up to myself and be like, yo, ten years from now, there's gonna be cross play. What the fuck you talking about, Mike? Yeah, there's gonna be cross play between all three systems. Everybody's gonna be able to play online together. I would look at myself and laugh in my own face. <laughs> <laughs> because right, back the then you talking between about? between two thousand seven to two thousand ten, the fucking console wars was nasty. It was nasty. Yeah. Nobody was messing with each other then. The console war was extra nasty back then. Yeah, everyone hated everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Where it was like, you have an Xbox. What? You have a PlayStation 2. What the I mean, fuck are you doing? Technically, it's still like that. It's just... I like, think it was worse back go then. Away. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. What? But um, let's see. So the PlayStation crossplay, that's a big, 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 big fucking jump. So that's gonna be wonderful. Uh let's let's move on. Let's talk about Oh, real quick. Let's get into uh Joker. Have you guys been following this shit? Yep. I Joaquin have Phoenix. seen the screenshots. I've seen the little behind the scenes uh on the subway train. The one thing I did like from that particular scene that they showed, well, just a little clip. I do like his walk. Yeah, he has a he has a swagger to him. He has that swagger, very confident that he's not going to get caught. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are complaining about the the, the makeup. You know, he's more clowny. That's not final. To... Like, come on. Like, I I'm, I feel I like that's not final at all. It's we, not final. We, at we all. not we we not we know that's not final. That's just him starting out. It will get refined to the point where he probably changes it to. It's final look. Exactly. Oh, That's, yeah. This is just he's not wearing his he's not wearing his traditional Joker colors or anything like that. And I'm not gonna lie, if if he 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 could possibly well be the new face of the Joker. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have I when they first announced when they first announced that there was a Joker origin movie, I was like, oh, do we really fucking need this? I, do we do we really <laughs> need this? You know what I mean? DC, what are you doing? Do we really a Joker separate origin movie and Here's the thing. They're having a Joker separate order movie that's not being played by Jared Leto. And they're still having Suicide yeah. Squad 2 with a Joker being played by Jared Leto. I know. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's fucking terrible. So, yeah, I exactly. Don't know what what they're the, doing exactly. Right now. What are you guys doing? That's like, and like, I'm what just is like. Your, what is your actual plan? There is no plan. The DC, the DC, there is no. the DCU is fucking done. It's gone. I'm sorry. And once again, we all Word. are DC fans. It's gone. They done fucked mm. up. They did. <laughs> but continuing they on. Not doing the, they, they, they messed up by not doing the Trinity movies separately. Wonder Woman should have came out after a solo Batman movie. The set of, this Batman was the setup. Came out after Man of Steel. And then it should have led into... You it, know, no, well, this was the setup. Man Batman of Steel, Superman. Man of Steel, just like with Marvel's Iron Man, should have started it off. Okay. At the end of Man of Steel, we should have had not even a stinger scene because DC Universe doesn't really do stinger scenes. If you don't want to do that, fine. I need, like, they had little Easter eggs with Wayne, you know, Satellite, Lex Luthor, you know, trucks, shit like that. Mm -hmm. I needed a scene with Ben Affleck 
Was Ben? Was, no, Ben Affleck wasn't announced as Batman yet, right? But when? we could have. Well, we could have still got it. We should. We still could have got some type of Batman esque scene at the very, very, very end to say, "Hey, this is fucking happening." Marvel's doing it now. We're doing it. The next movie, Batman standalone. That should be the next fucking exactly. Movie. Or at least a Wonder Woman. Batman. No, because I don't think they should have done Batman next. They should have done Wonder Woman. No, no. I mean, like, you know what's funny? No, it didn't even matter. No, it wouldn't even matter one... who they did next. Yeah. It wouldn't even matter. It wouldn't even matter. So you got you got bat you got the Man of Steel, you got Batman, and then you got Batman or Wonder Woman. It doesn't matter. Their single movies comes out, and then no, scratch Batman versus Batman. Superman. It shouldn't have been Batman vs. Superman. You know when they could have had Batman vs. It, it should have... I'm getting really passionate right now. It should have been... It should have been... One, uh, it should have been Man of Steel. Okay? It should have been... Then right after that, either Wonder Woman or Batman stand alone. And, and vice versa. And then it went into Justice League. And that's when you introduce Flash and Aquaman and um, Cyborg. Now, if Word. you want that Batman vs. Superman uh, vibe going on you have that conflict in the beginning of the justice league movie and that's not what like, brings not them, like and then you know everything kind of like happening brings them together at the end exactly yeah. well, not, well, well not even you could even you could have even done it the exact same way have the movie play out somewhat similar that you know superman technically dies at the end of batman versus superman then leading into justice league 2 when they really need superman he's not exactly <laughs> exactly it should it could it could have did that also and then right after Justice League, we get Man of Steel 2, Wonder Woman 2, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Standalone Flash, Standalone Aquaman, Standalone Cyborg, uh, what else? Um, Batman and 2. Introduced, and, then, and, then, and then slowly introduce Green Lantern. There you go. I agree. Green Lantern should have been introduced during Justice League. Absolutely. Should have. Well, technically, they, they technically did introduce them, but they didn't focus on a single one. They focused on the whole core because they exactly. helped when the original invasion happened, which I was very excited to see. And then we got the, the uh, and then we got the um, the the rumor going on that Henry Cavill is not going to play Superman no more, which has not been confirmed. His agent went online and said, "Listen, the cape is still in the closet, no worries." But WB has said that they're not focusing on any more Superman standalone movies at this time. They are turning towards Supergirl movies. Why? What the fuck? Why? 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 Well, I mean, there was the there was the Easter egg in the Man of Steel movie to begin with. There was, but Supergirl Teasing. Teasing. Supergirl is not a main. Supergirl does not deserve her own movie just yet. She doesn't. You don't even have your fucking. Yeah, foundation. it's like telling me like, okay, no, Nightwing what, deserves a movie. What, what, no, what hell I see, no. What I what I see them doing if is that they they're going into apocalypse now. Yeah, they but there's no foundation. What's fa- Rob, what foundation they have? Like it's, it's, they have no there, foundation. There isn't. No, and I, I agree, there isn't. They went into Justice League War, which is what they were leading to this whole time, from what I saw. I mean, the way he saw it was the um, Infinite Crisis. That's the way Snyder saw it. But for me, I saw War because that's what happened. They really weren't the Justice League, per se. Exactly. Everyone was their own. They were their own thing in that movie. And exactly. then when a pop, and then when you know when Dark Side comes, that's when they technically teamed up. I was like, all right, cool. I see where they're going with that. Boom, bam. Now, but now when you bring in Supergirl, <laughs> now they're bringing in Apocalypse because an Apocalypse is going to easily turn Supergirl bad. I'm not Apocalypse. See, I didn't mix damn X Men. <laughs> Dark Side. <laughs> Dark Side's going to turn. <laughs> Dark Side's going to turn Kara into. His little minion, whatever. Yeah. And then, hmm. it's, gonna be, then it's gonna be Superman versus Supergirl. But what I'm saying is a super a Supergirl, and then they got and then they got fucking Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad was shoehorned. We don't care about these characters on their own movies just yet. We need a foundation. DCU did not have the correct foundation, so they should not be doing this. With Marvel, listen, who before the movie came out, who really paid attention to the Guardians of the Galaxy? Hell no. No Nobody. one, dude. No one, right? But it worked nope. because they had the foundation already. You had Iron Man. You had Captain America. You had Thor. You had the first Avengers movie. And then they released Guardians of the Galaxy. It was like, Guardians of the Galaxy, who the fuck are these guys? It's Marvel, though. We're, Marvel's been doing the shit up. We're going to go see it. 
Exactly. Brilliant. And then everybody loved them and introduced them to a whole world of characters that are like, holy shit. All right. DC biggest mistake. Well, not DC. Warner Brothers biggest mistake was trying to play catch up. That's their biggest mistake. Yep. They and should, they rushed it. They should have they should have just took their sweet ass time and did it right the first time. You had everything structured properly after Man of Steel. You had something to build on right after that. And you just and they tried to just it. rush it. Yep. <laughs> and there's only one thing that could fix it. No matter how you look at it, there is only one thing that can fix it. Flashpoint. And it's it's the flat. It's the flash. Yep. It's the only way to legitimately fix the entire timeline Word. and gives you the ability to f- do a fresh start is have him do flashpoint it really is that's 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 the that's the main thing so um <laughs> you got real passion about that shit you just so upset <laughs> uh, it's very upsetting <laughs> oh and, uh, I, I was gonna say i was gonna say do... i'm sorry to cut you over but i was gonna say when they announced joaquin phoenix i had all my confidence for that joker movie went sky high because he's an amazing actor he Dude, have you seen her? Amazing. Amazing. Movie. I'm just excited to see. But, Rob, what was you saying? Nah, it's like we had such high hopes when we heard there was going to be a DC cinematic universe. And I was like, oh, great. This is excellent. We finally get Justice League on the big screen. You know, we get to see all these great DC characters, the ones that we truly love. And you <laughs> that all up. Like, seriously. They no, they like, really, possibly, they fucked it up, like, dude. How could you? How can? How could you ruin something that you do so well? Animated. He's right. You are absolutely right, sir. Like, absolutely. You, would, you do it so well in the animated version, like the animated universe, to where you created this whole new fifty-two universe. You made a movie, you know, Justice League War, and you built your animated movies off of that movie alone. Batman got, you know, Batman versus Robin. Still a part of the 52 stop the timeline, but I'm, I'm like, really? I was like, you, I hate you, DC. I hate you so. Not, not DC. <laughs> Warner, Warner Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> I, I, I hate you. Because like, like, you fucked you it have up. Such, you have, you, yeah, you got, like, you got such great writers who write amazing animated movies for you. And the comics are amazing too, dude. And I don't know what the fuck the writers are thinking for the movies, what they're doing. Or what the creators of Warner Brothers are doing either just jumbling together a whole bunch of stuff to make money and merchandise but nah they shouldn't be doing that dude just they should take their time at least you know what the, at least Wonder Woman was a good movie because the director of Wonder Woman and the writers of Wonder Woman actually tried to write a good movie mm-hmm. and take their time with it so I guess Wonder Woman is good I'm not gonna judge Aquaman yet but they fucked it all up at the very beginning so I, I don't know they did fuck it all up yep. but uh it, it, let's <laughs> We can go on and on about uh, Warner Bros. I just want to jump on this real quick. This was a big, big hit in my heart. Hit in my fucking heart, dude. Telltale layoffs. Telltale is no more, man. What the hell? Wow. What the I, hell, they've man? Done such, they've done such great games, you know, from Tales of the Borderland to The Walking Dead. I mean, Batman, Telltale Story. I mean, it was a very did small they, Did they say why? Hard... Just funds. They just didn't have it. As far as I'm Damn. concerned, and the games weren't reflecting sales, so you know, keep people exactly. That's on the thing. I, 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 um, I'm gonna throw that out there. A lot of people did not really get into the Telltale series. Like I got into no. it, but there's a lot of people that I personally know. Yeah. They was like tell, they didn't even know what it was. There was like a, a comic book because that's basically what it was. It was a comic book that you can control. Yeah, yeah. It, was an interactive, it was an interactive story, and that's like people who really got into it are people who played Indigo Prophecy, who played Heavy Rain, you know, exactly. games like that. Like I was, I, I love them. Um, we got The Walking Dead, the final season, uh, episode two dropped this week. I did not get a chance to play it, but I did play episode one. Amazing. Um, I can't wait to play episode two. I'm probably gonna stream that sometime when I don't know, but I'm gonna be into it. But uh, no more Wolf Among Us two. Uh, Batman, whatever Batman game was coming out, that's scrapped, and that's pretty much it. And of course, you know this Walking Dead is the final season, so it's gonna be no more Walking Dead to begin with. But yeah, no more anyway, Telltale, yeah. man. What the fuck? Rip. That's just it, it's just know. upsetting. It's just really. It upsetting. was very upsetting too. Maybe like, another they, smaller they... studio can come about from it though, and that'd be pretty cool because then they can get to do really like focus game and shit. I hope it's not too much small studio well, because what you guys we, said it was like a hundred people. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. 
and and people like a lot of the fans are looking for some of these big studios to actually purchase them. This huh. way, we can still get stuff from uh, content from them. And you said earlier, Mike, that the uh, creator of uh, God of War. Yes, the creator of God of War. Again? He's donating to the people that were laid off their salaries. Like he's giving them like a little donation to kind of help them, you know, move on. And it's and per se. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Yep. Wow. So, See, that's so, the kind of know, shit you want to hear in the gaming community. It brings the world together. Let's get cross-platform together and play Spider-Man, and <laughs> all these different games. <laughs> We're gonna have a lit time playing good video games for the rest of our lives. Yeah. yeah. I, like like said, I, I like how he said, "Let's all get together and play Spider-Man, a game that's only on PlayStation." <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Exactly. Oh my God. Oh well, my no, God. I was trying to sum together the whole podcast. So, so, you talked about know, so basically, what happened was the God then, of War, the God of War director, he donates money to Telltale staff after layoffs. That's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he yeah, did. Because yes. there are there are people that have fucking bills, man. It, it, and he stepped it up. He yep. stepped it up. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if you know studios like Santa Monica Studios or Naughty Dog start just. Hiring some of these doing the same the thing. Studio. Oh, I I won't be surprised at all. I won't be surprised. You know who will actually do some of the hiring, and I won't. And I, I would be glad if they do. Gearbox Studios. Yes. Because yes, Tales of the Borderland, and they did an amazing job on that game. And the crazy part was that their Tales of the Borderland game, they made it canon to the actual Borderland storyline. So, whenever we get Borderlands three, everything that happened in Tales of the Borderland will reflect on the new game. Yep. And I'll let you know right now, I beat Tales of the Borderland, and some shit happened. <laughs> so, <laughs> Because Tales of the Borderlands took place between 1 and 2, right? No, it took place between... Uh, it took place after 2, actually. If oh, I remember okay, correctly. okay. Because in part 2, you were dealing with uh, Handsome Jack. Yes. Yes, yes. So... And in this one, Handsome Jack is dead, technically. And you have to play Tales of the Borderlands to see what Jack has up his sleeve. Yeah, just me personally, yo, this is, is it's just a fucking heartbreak that what happened to Telltale employees, yeah. man. It's just a heartbreak. It really, it really is. is. I mean, people put their sweat, their tears into stuff, and, you know, if it, if it just doesn't do well, you know, this is the stuff that can happen. It really sucks. They it really does. had a lot of great games. It does. Um, let's see. Uh, fun going on. I'm like, this might be a, just a short podcast. But um, two trailers dropped this week. You yep. got the Dark Phoenix trailer. And you got the Creed 2 trailer. Now let's... Well, the Creed 2 the second trailer. Now Dark Phoenix. Um, if you guys have not, you go back. I think we both, me and Darren, we did reactions to those. We did our little input of that. Uh, we're going to get more into depth of it here. Um... Lukewarm. Just like I said in my video, lukewarm. I'm not really too hyped, and I'm not really too bummed. I want to see it. I want to see the continuation of these X-Men characters with these actors, with uh, with James McAvoy, and uh, and I forgot the guy's name that plays Magneto. Really? Really? Michael Fassbender? Yes, Michael Fassbender. <laughs> Michael Fassbender as Magneto, which is an excellent Magneto. I mean, like, I feel that they could... If Marvel is going to continue uh, the X-Men franchise, which they are, they need those two. Well, they're already technically continuing because Marvel definitely had their hand in this movie, which is why it's actually happening. So when when Fox, the first thing everybody thought was, well, there goes Dark Phoenix because that's not happening now. But as you saw, even in the beginning of the damn trailer, you see the whole Marvel, you know, montage go off. Marvel put their little fingers in there and they, 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 so... So yeah, it's going to happen. They're definitely going to make sure that this is good. Yeah, but this is the last movie um, that is. This is the last movie that Fox not doesn't have control, but their main thing is Fox. But once this movie drops and it's out, Marvel is officially control of the X Men and the Fantastic yep. Four and all that. I'm excited. Yep. I'm ready for it. They need to make it happen already. But like I said, we all seen the trailer. I'm mean, like, I'm lukewarm about it. I love the fact that the costumes they're they're reminiscing of one of the comics that came out recently regarding the uh, Dark Phoenix with the giant X on the chest. Um, I like the way that looks. Um, I'm liking, like, I like all the people that I like play. The way, I like it. I, I, I like the way she looks just overall. Yeah, I like Word. the way she looks overall. She's hot. 
but like I said, I'm not I'm not hyping myself up. I'm not really hyped and I'm not really disappointed. I'm just like, okay, like it's not a it's not gonna be a day one C for me. I might see the week after or something like that. But I'm just like, all right, you know, I see the trail. I'm just like, all right, okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it has uh-huh. a February. Well, it's a Valentine's Day 2019 no, release no, too. No, no, so. no, 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 no. It, they it just got pushed back to it, summer. Darren, Darren, what did I? Darren, what was I complaining to you about? earlier wow <laughs> dude we just did the reaction fucking yesterday yes i and know I, and, as of and they today, announced today it that back. is not february 14th wow. like I, we just like we just said in the beginning the moment that trailer started and i saw marvel's big red screen marvel and you see the little snippet of all the characters i knew that that whatever release date wasn't going to stick because marvel will go back and tweak the movie to their liking yep that's and interesting. Wow! Right after is, they released the trailer, it is they pushed. drop a fucking pushback. Yep, wow. it is pushed back four months, June seventh, two thousand twenty nineteen. So, so they will reshoots. Be doing... Yep, reshoots galore. Mm, so uh, the movie will get marvelized. You think so? <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely, Mike. That's okay. exactly what it is for. All right. Yeah. Okay. You don't push the movie back four months to do nothing to it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You like know, so. you got me. You know that means it comes out after Infinity Wars and everything, right? And well, not Infinity Wars, but Avengers better. 4. And that could also be a reason why it got pushed back, too. One, they could do the reshoots, but two, you don't want to have two Marvel movies competing against each other. That, too. You're absolutely true. right. Marvel plans mm-hmm. on, you know... Well, Washing crazy. everybody. <laughs> Disney, Disney plans on making as much money as humanly possible. Because they want to control everything. <laughs> and Let's they, they need to stop making... They need to stop making Disney movies because they just released no, the trailer. No, they're not. You got Lion King live action. You got all the Marvel movies. You got every fucking thing. The Nutcracker. The Nutcracker. They they got everything. I didn't even know that shit was coming out. This is mad shit. I, I didn't know that was coming out. I was walking out the house. The to go fucking to work Nutcracker. And I, they look on the screen and and, I, and the Nutcracker. And I was like, is this really the Nutcracker? Because I thought <laughs> they had to be. Rob like, was like, what the fuck, fuck is this? this? I, like, what the fuck? I, I saw the, the the name pop up. I was like, oh, come on, Disney. Like, seriously? You greedy bastards. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna throw. They're gonna throw that. out. I'll always remember that South Park episode with Disney, <laughs> and you had Mickey Mouse running around destroying everything. Word. Oh, that's a real corporation. Oh. Oh, oh. They're gonna throw. They're gonna throw out Disney, and they'd be like, "He's like, have I taken over the world yet?" Be like, not yet, sir. You're about ninety eight percent. Put me back in. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's, like it's ridiculous. But no. But like I said, I like the trailer. Um, I I like how. You know, they do play on the whole fact that Charles, you know, locked up a portion of her, her, you know, her brain. Well, that's another thing I was going to say. Um, that whole thing has, I don't, it has nothing to do with the Phoenix. And in the original comics, the Phoenix was an entity that took over her. She was never born with it. It was never a part of her. Well, it was a part no, of her, the, but she wasn't born. She was it. always a Phoenix, but he said, she remember, she's a level five mutant since the day she was born. Yeah. So, but... Remember, Charles is Charles. He can sense things that no one else can sense, and he sensed that, so he tried to suppress that as yeah. long as he What was the thing that Magneto but, said? He said, you're always sorry, Charles, and you always have a speech, but nobody cares. <laughs> this time, nobody cares. <laughs> Some shit like that. Some shit along those lines. And he was right, though. He was like, Charles, you always got a fuck. You're always sorry. You always got a speech. It's not going to work this time, bro. You fucked up. <laughs> Again. <laughs> For yeah. like the fourth time in Again. this damn series. <laughs> um, also, the there was a one. funeral the scene. One. There was a funeral scene. Who you think is biting the bullet? Um, I don't know. Gene, I'm telling you right, to be honest with you. Gene, no, it's not. Uh, Gene. It might. It, it might be Mystique. Yes, yes. Thank you, Rob. It is Mystique because rumor has it that J Law has been done with Mystique since the fucking first class. Second one. Since yeah, yeah. it's just the second one. So. You know, it is what it is. Like, she's over the role, and she wants to move on. So, I don't know. Yeah, all it's right. Gotta, it's gotta cool. wait and see. Wait for I didn't really wait. like her in this. Well, I like the Mystique role. I didn't like what they did with Mystique in, these, in the series, how they made her, like, a good guy but a bitchy good guy. So maybe she just finally becomes a bad guy in this movie and leaves Charles, and she dies. I hope that well, happens. Well, from what we can see, we see Beast leaves Charles. Yes, Beast leaves Charles. Like, they're really, it's it's split. It's, you know, Magneto yeah. got his brotherhood again. 
Uh, I can't wait. So, but what's, but what's crazy is how the time jumps with these fucking movies is ridiculous. All right, so first class takes place in the seventies. Okay. Yeah. And then you got it's it's ten years apart from each other. First class takes place in the seventies. Uh, no, yes. First, I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself. First class takes place in the seventies. Apocalypse is in the eighties, and then um, it's this one's in the nineties. Nineties, ninety two. And you got. Pl- the, and then you got Days of Futures Past that took place in the eighties, but then went back. Yeah, that was a. Um... Oh yeah, fucking well, that Days took, of no, Futures that, Past. That, no wait, Days of, Days of Futures Past took place in the future. Went back into the eighties. No, went back into the seventies. Seventies. Sorry, to fix everything that happened. So it's just like. Then back to the future. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty so... much. Holy shit! And, this and then you is have, fucking and then you confusing. Have you had Apocalypse, which technically took place in the 80s. Yes. Okay. There we As go. well. All right. Oh, shit. I got a headache. All right. Moving on. <laughs> uh, Creed 2 trailer. Listen. Listen, man. Listen, man. I worked out <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just ready. I worked out today again, and I, I, I played. You know what I did? I took my pre-workout, and I drank my pre-workout really slowly while I was watching the, the new trailer again. And uh, once again, <laughs> we did another reaction to that shit. Yo. Yo. Michael B. Jordan, he's a boxer now. Like officially, like he is a fucking boxer, and he and he's Apollo's Agreed. son. He's Apollo's son. As simple as that. I, I, I don't care what you, yo. I can't disagree. Like yeah, shame. Yeah, he's right. I can't. I can't. Dis- I can't shame. disagree. Shame. 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 <laughs> I got. I got out. I I watched the trailer. I worked out. I worked out hard too. I worked out really, really hard. Like I went in. Like I did my abs. <laughs> I did my fucking cardio. I hate cardio. Rob, you know I hate cardio. And I did that shit. <laughs> I did that shit. I know. You sit okay. there and look at that, and that's like inspiration. Like, damn, I need to get to that level right there. Exactly. And then, and then, as I took a shower, and I came out, I looked at myself in the mirror. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> pure, it's pure fucking shame. Shame. I body shame myself. And I'm not, and I'm fit. I'm fit. I don't even, I'm fit. I do my races. I work out every day. I'm fit, but I'm average fit. I'm a very, uh, I would say from a scale of one to ten, I'm like a seven. I get, and I'm that's that's pushing it. This motherfucker is eleven. All right, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, it's like if you can see the difference from Black Panther to this, and you just go. Well, you got you got the difference from you got from the first Creed to Black Panther. He gained you know a little. He got some more muscle. It's kind of like the same, but then this movie is just it's he's he's Super Saiyan two right here. This is a Super Saiyan two. Creed he was Goku. This fucking guy. No, 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 Creed, you know, you know Creed he was it's Goku. Super Saiyan two. It's, a, it's ascended Super Saiyan. Yeah, Creed was Creed was his yep. Creed was his arrival on Namek Goku, right? <laughs> Creed was his arrival on Namek Goku. Like, I'm the shit. I'm the shit. I'm fucking here. I'm the shit. I'm taking niggas out. All right? Creed, uh, Black Panther was his Super Saiyan. Like, he went Super Saiyan. That's level one. Creed 2, he's ascended. <laughs> and, if they do- and, by the t- and by the end of Creed, he officially went Super Saiyan 2. Exactly. Word. He's... <laughs> by the end of Creed, he's he right Super Saiyan 2. That's your analogy. We're sticking with it. Exactly. <laughs> I like that's, it. That's pretty much it. I like like just how I got discussed in the uh, the trailer, the tr- reaction trailer. Um, they, they're gonna follow the classic Rocky formula. He's gonna get his ass whooped yep. in the beginning. He's gonna fight. He's gonna yep. fight at Drago's son against Rocky's wishes. He's gonna get his ass whooped. That's why we have the scenes in the uh, the hospital. Rocky's gonna come back. But like, listen, you got your hey 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 man. Listen, you got your ass kicked. I told you not to fight him, but you're alive. So I guess we're gonna go training. And they're gonna have the training yeah, montage. Me first. And he's gonna fight him again. I can't wait to see the encounter. I can't wait to see the encounter between Rocky and uh, Ivan Drago. Oh yeah, you saw that shit. You saw that stare down. I can't. I can't wait to see the stare down. I, can't, easily, I can't. wait to see. You know, that's easily the first time they've Rocky seen said. those two characters have seen that's each the, other since the then. First times. Yep. Yep. It's exactly what it is. It's the first time they've encountered each other since their fight. And Rocky said it. I can. Like he said in the trailer, he's like that guy broke stuff in my body that I didn't know could break. Yeah. Well, no. He said. Yes, he said there was there's stuff that he broke that still ain't fixed. <laughs> like that. Well, not ain't fixed. Can't be fixed. Damn. 
So that's really serious. But um, yeah, Creed two. That, that's how bad of a movie was. Holy shit! So, I'm 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 hyped for that movie. So, that might be a a, a first weekend. Uh, oh, there definitely. Yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, definitely. That's I'm much, excited for that movie. That's pretty much our rundown for the week. That's just what we do, guys. This is this is this is our podcast. I do have one thing as... to add. Yeah, go right ahead. Go right ahead. When we were talking about PSX, how disappointing that was. Microsoft did announce that they will be having their own uh, company themed event. Oh, we we in uh, it then? X X X O uh, eight, what is it? X zero eighteen, whatever. It's supposed to be a pure Microsoft event. That's okay. Their, that's their PlayStation X. All right, well, November. In November. I just looked it up. So November this year. Let's do that shit. November this year. So we're definitely gonna cover that because I'm curious to see. Microsoft has done some things this week that is starting to make me excited. <laughs> Your nipples, they started to do some stuff. Your nipples are getting hard. They started right to there. do some stuff with the yeah. They 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 started to do some. Oh stuff shit! They're gonna be again. they're gonna be in Mexico and City. Trade, Holy shit! Yep, and they 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 trademarked Perfect Dark. Oh, a lot of trademarks are starting to happen. So we might see something Perfect Dark related, which I, they have all these old IPs that they are not using, and hopefully Microsoft has learned their lesson, and they're starting to do what they need to do for the fans so we have to wait for november for that but i just had to bring that up because i'm, I'm actually looking forward to that no problem but um that's and we'll be covering it oh yeah we definitely want to cover that um that's our podcast we're back episode 23 the glitch pit um it feels good it feels good we're trying to we're gonna we are going to be consistent with it every every saturday we will have a release we're going to be consistent of it. We're going to stay on top of it. Please, thank you if you're listening. If you're not, if you're listening, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you like, if you're not listening, get that doesn't make sense. Fuck. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That's the end. Glitch Pit episode twenty-three. I'm Mike. <laughs> Darren. We out. Mike, Darren, and Rob. We out. Deuces. Deuces.